Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Williams. I'm a board certified radiologist. And my specialty is actually in intratumoral immunotherapy. And what we're doing is we're actually taking some of these new immunotherapy agents and injecting them directly into the cancer. And when you affect the tumor directly, then you get a better response. You get these medications into the area of the tumor where the immune cells are also there and it has a stronger effect on the cancer itself. Immunotherapy is relatively new in the realm of cancer treatment. You know, most people understand chemotherapy and they understand radiation therapy, but immunotherapy, even for the oncologist, is relatively new. And what it does is it actually affects not only just the cancer, but also affects the immune cells and gets them to recognize the cancer. And so one of the things I've done is, of course, explaining to patients day in and day out on things that they can do to enhance the response that they would get from immunotherapy. Uh, I realized that we needed to be able to get this information out to lots of people. And the only way to do that is to write a book. And so, so I wrote a book that has explanations. The book, I wrote a book that's called The Immunotherapy Revolution, The Best New Hope for Saving Cancer Patients' Lives. And this book has a lot of explanations on supplements, on off-label medications, on the microbiome, which of course is essential to get a good immune response, and what patients can do to enhance those things and make the most of their immunotherapy. Um, for me, you know, this journey all really started back when my grandmother died of breast cancer when I was a teenager. And I kept thinking that there had to be a better way to treat cancer. And a few years later, when I was in college, I began doing cancer research and work in gene therapy. And one of the things that I saw was that we could get these cures in these mice, but we weren't seeing the same results in humans. And, and one of the things was that when we treat mice, we generally inject the tumor. So, you know, my question was, why are we injecting the tumor in mice, yet in humans we don't do it? Well, of course, at that time, imaging was really coming uh, of age, and now, of course, it's much more advanced. And so the concept of using scans like CT scans and ultrasound to guide needles into tumors was, was really a, a, a new concept. And so um, I decided instead of being an oncologist, which was where I was going towards, that being a radiologist was going to be the direction I should go because radiology would allow me to have the skill to inject these tumors. And as I was doing uh, you know, radiology-based treatments for cancer, particularly some of the, the earlier treatments, and this was you know, 20 years ago, we were placing needles into tumors and freezing and heating these tumors up. And one of the things I saw was that certain cancers would respond very well when you, you froze them or heated them up. It seemed like the immune system was trying to attack them and the patients did better than we expected, including some cures in advanced cancers. And so then I realized that we needed to figure out a way to stimulate the immune system and to stimulate it inside the tumor. And this led many years of work and injecting many different things in cancer um, and then in more recent years with the development of immunotherapy that is when we saw a real change and, and significant benefit for the patients where you know you could freeze a tumor and then you inject these drugs and stimulate the immune system to attack it and then now now things are getting even more advanced where you know before we were limited to treating cancers that we could only freeze or, or heat with a, doing ablation. But now the immunotherapies are getting so good that you don't have to have ablation at all. And this really opens up a lot of cancers that you can treat. And so, um, so that's the direction that we've gone. It doesn't always completely replace other therapies. And that's it. the thing is that patients can get this and they can get other therapies as well. They can still get systemic immunotherapy in certain cases. But, um, but this is the real future. And the one thing is that it allows us to use lots of combinations of immunotherapies that you could never use in a patient intravenously or by mouth because it would cause too many problems.
So one of the things in, in writing this book was that I realized that we needed to provide patients with information that could really enhance their care in, in their immunotherapy treatments. As patients sometimes are uh, not realizing that certain drugs may interfere with immunotherapy. There's other things that may enhance it. And uh, a lot of times now the oncologists are not aware. This is, this is a new field and it's not an area that they particularly trained in. And so, you know, I wanted to give sort of detailed information where the patients could read and learn and understand how to make the most out of their immunotherapy care. And that's why I wrote the book, The Immunotherapy Revolution. I think that you'll find that this is essential for cancer patients and is saving lots of lives. And I certainly invite you to read it. Thank you.